Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be sorting all of the things that I've gotten throughout February and March. I did not do a video for February because I hardly had anything to put away so I was like it's kind of pointless I'll just save it for March. I am filming this a little bit before the end of March like I normally would because to be honest I genuinely don't have any video ideas right now. When Hobie's new album comes out I feel like my my spark will come back. Figured I will just go ahead and film this for what I've gotten in February and for the majority of March. I have been trading quite a lot, so hopefully next month we'll also have a lot of things. But yes, I'm super excited. Let's just get started. Let's do my miscellaneous binder first because I actually have quite a lot to put away in that one today. Here is the miscellaneous binder. I accidentally bent this a little bit, but that's fine. Here we've got Dio, Taman, Red Velvet, and Vix here. So that's super exciting. So we'll start with Dio. He's after Kai, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. So for his second mini album, I pulled this card and I got this album months ago. I just kept forgetting to put the cards away. <laughs> but now we're finally gonna do it. We're just gonna slide him right there. Super cute. And we do have a large inclusion for him. Put in a two pocket because we've got this adorable postcard and these two film strips. Oh, <laughs> sorry, this one's actually Taman's. This is Dio's. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. We'll just slide them in here for now. And I usually end up rearranging these large inclusions for solo albums the more like solo stuff comes out. So this will probably not stay like this forever. Okay, next for this binder, let's go to Taman. Oh, so. Monster X, um, Chang Kyun is actually having another solo album soon. I'm very excited about that. So we'll be adding to his section. Okay, well, actually, I forgot this was when alphabetical. So let's go ahead and do Red Velvet. So I did end up moving my Joy Collection into this album or this binder because I don't try hard to collect her. I literally just trade cards per album for what I pull. So, and it's not a very serious collection for me and I only do one version of their album. So I was like, I should probably put them in um, this miscellaneous binder. I did get their new Chill Kill album, the special edition. Cause if, if there's a special or limited edition, I usually just buy one of those. So this is one of the bag editions and it comes with a full set, which is exciting. I guess we'll just add to this page. It doesn't really matter to me too much. These cards are super cute though. Oh my gosh. And I believe there are two sets for the special and you just get one randomly. But this Yeri card with the donut is so stinking cute. I can't even. So there we go. That was Red Velvet. And now we'll go to Taman. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to finally be adding to Taman's section again. So for his Guilty album, I got one of the photo book versions and pulled this card right here. Ta-da, that looks beautiful. And he also had that film strip I showed earlier. I think we'll just put it on the back here for now. Like I said, I do rearrange these a lot when new albums and stuff come out and I'm sure he's gonna do something else. He has left SM Entertainment, so I don't know when the next comeback for him will be, but whatever it is, I will be there supporting because I love Taman's music. Okay, and then lastly for this binder, we have Vix. This is so exciting. It has been like, what, five years since Vix had a comeback? Like, oh my gosh. So for their Continuum album, I got all of these cards here. Oh my gosh. So I think real quick, we're gonna rearrange this page to a seven layout. So this will be like before military, before hiatus, and then we'll do a second nine pocket for everything else. Oh, I'm so happy to be adding to my Vix collection. So we'll do the photo cards first. And I pretty much pulled, or I almost pulled an entire Ken set, which is so fun. And then for the two clear standees, I pulled Leo and Hyuk. So I kind of want to do them all on this one page. I think we'll do these two down here. Yeah, I think we'll do it like this so that none of their faces will be hidden behind these standees because I don't want to put in a whole like larger pocket page for just for those. I was so sad that N was not a part of this comeback um, due to his like, you know, schedule conflicts and stuff. So hopefully they will have another comeback soon with N. There we go, that is for Continuum. How cute is that? And then we're gonna go all the way to the back because we have these two, ooh, there's cat hair. We have these two mini posters. 
Again, I pulled both of Ken's. I'm telling you, I almost pulled an entire Ken set. This is great. I've just got a one packet here. We're gonna do them front and back. And this one is so colorful, so I'm gonna put this one on the front. Perfect. Oh, that was so exciting. We haven't added to this binder in so long. I'm very, very happy with that. I guess let's actually just continue along and we'll do some boy groups because this was mainly boy groups here. All right, here's the first boy group binder. We've only got a couple things for this one today. So first we'll start with ATs. Um, oh, I actually have a trade in progress for one of these cards. Oh my, I think it's this one with the like heart cheek, the cheek heart. I'm so, so excited finally to be getting one of these cards. So that's, I really hope that that trade doesn't fall through or anything. So let's go to here. I actually have this card on the way in a trade as well. The two I have for today. So I'm literally just like looking on my Instagram. Hold on. I believe it's from here. We have these two cards from the platform version and it will be these two. I got really scared for a second because these are so similar. I was like, oh no, are they the same? They're, they're not. Okay, so we'll put these two down here. I know technically this one's first and then second and third, but I kind of like that one in the middle. I can always rearrange it later. I also have this card on the way at a trade. So we're, we're making some progress on this, um, on Outlaw. Okay, that's it for ATs. Let's go down to Stray Kids. I've only got one Lino card today. Okay, I think this is gonna be Maxident. No, Five Star. So we have his Digipack card from Five Star. Finally, I traded for this in January. I looked back, it was January and it finally arrived like last week. But there we go, that's so exciting. Now Five Star is done. And we just have to work on Rockstar. Um, I don't have any of these coming so please hit me up on my instagram if you'd like to trade for any of those that's it for this boy group binder let's go to the second boy group binder here's the second boy group binder and we've only got a couple things for this one as well just some txt and psychers okay yeah so we're going to free fall here I have this card which is his reality a version Making a little progress here. And then we're still missing the Weaver's card. And I actually did get his target card. And for some reason I did not sleeve this. Let me, let me do that real quick. All right, where do we want to put this? I think we're going to move this K-Town card for now. I, <laughs> I know, I know. I'll rearrange this a little bit. Um, we're just going to put that there for now. Or do I want to put it one of these. I'm still missing a bunch of large inclusions. Please trade me. Yeah, I'll, I'll mess around with that later. See what I want to do. But we also need to add a page right in here. We'll add another four pocket here because I did get their version to light stick and I made a video about it if you'd like to check that out. But we're going to put these cards away. They just look like, look how much more grown up they, they are from, from this, uh, the first one. Isn't that crazy? Especially Kai, he looks like such a baby here and now he's grown up. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do the same thing and we'll just have to put Kai on the back, which I don't love, but I don't really know how else to store these well. Maybe I should do like a an eight pocket and store them horizontally. I don't know, but for now, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, cool. Now for Psychers. Of course, my boy Jung-hoon is still, still not a part of the group. He is still recovering, which is fine. For this latest album, Tricky uh, Trial and Error. I did not collect anyone in particular. I did the same thing I did for, um, oh gosh, their names are so confusing. How to Play, is that what it was? I just kept who I pulled, so I'm not going to be collecting anyone in specific until Jung-hoon comes back. So we'll add, that. So here are the cards we pulled. Nothing too crazy. Here are the normal album cards and then the little ID. And then I did buy these from Target. So these are the Target slash US cards. I don't really know the specifics, but I did pull both of Jinshik's, which I think is really cool. So we're just gonna do a little eight pattern layout and put these in here. Do I wanna do them in, alpha, in uh, age order? I think so. Yechan's the youngest. And then Hunter. No, 
Yujun, Hunter, Hyunwoo. Okay. Oh, so this is gonna be a nine pattern layout. I forgot about the ID already, even though I just talked about it. Both of Jinshik's. Oh, Sumin is older than him. I did not know that. Okay, so we'll do that. I really, really love this album. It, I think this is like my favorite that they've put out so far. It's so good. I love how electronic it is. And oh man, it's, it's so good. It's so good. So I'm hoping for their next comeback that my boy will come back. That would be fantastic. And then we've got a couple large inclusions. We'll add one of these horizontal three pockets in here because we got these two, what are they called? Film strips. We got Hunter and Su uh, Junmin. And then for one of the versions, it came with a standee and we got Minjay and it is a kind of thick. So I don't know if I want, I don't, I think I'm gonna keep, put this back in the album and then I'll just keep his little standy thing in here. Make them all face the same way. Cool. All right, that is it for boy groups. Oh, well, actually, I do have one thing for Extenary, so let's go to my Extenary binder. Here's the Extenary binder, and I've only got one thing to put in here today. We have one of Jiyeon's Deadlock fold-out cards. I knew, like, my last video, I knew I had this, but it was one of those trades that just took forever to come in the mail. But it is here now, and that is all I care about. We're gonna just slide, slide him up here. Yay! Now all I need is the other fold out. Also, like 15 minutes before I started filming this video, they released this on their Twitter. And what does it mean? Are they having a comeback? I'm so excited. I love them. I love them so much. But yeah, I still have a lot of work to do on my extraordinary collection, but I'm happy that that finally arrived. While we're on like alt groups, let me go ahead and do the one BTS card I have. Here's my BTS tour and army membership binder. I've only got this card to put away today. This is Jimin's card from the merch box 14, I believe, 14, 15, Four, I think it was 14. Here we go, Jimin in here. I was just like sliding these in here as I got them, but I think I'm gonna actually put them in age order. So we're gonna move Hobie right there and we'll put Jimin. Right there. I already have ordered Yoongi's, of course, the Merchbox 15. So we will be getting his card next. I'm very excited. Yeah, that's it for BTS. So now we'll look, go into girl groups. Okay, here's the first girl group binder. It is completely busting at the seams. Both of my, both of my girl group binders are. I'm gonna have to do something because this is, oh man, this is getting crazy. I don't even know if what I have is gonna fit in these comfortably, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. All right, so let's just get started. I've only got um, things for Dreamcatcher today, but for Espa, I do have a trade for one of her spicy, or one of her zine photo cards. So hopefully that will be coming in soon. I'm very excited. So then I'll only need the other one and my Karina collection will be finished. So we're gonna go back to Dreamcatchers, the only group I have things for today. We'll start with this album. I don't even know if I have anything for this album. I am trading for one of her standard cards. That's it for this album though. No, no more progress on that one. But for villains, I did make quite a lot of progress. I don't have everything yet, but they are on the way. So I do have all of her normal cards, but the fourth one is still on the way. Same with this limited card, it is also on the way. Then I will be finished, except for her like platform cards. I think we'll just do it like this for now. This one, this one here, and then this one right here. Cool, yes, that's so fun. So really I just need work on these. Yeah, I don't have any pending right now, um, but I was able to trade for her little OOTD little card thing. I'm thinking about double-siding these and we'll just slide her little thing right up here. I don't think there were any other larger inclusions, so I might try to find a more aesthetic way to put these out, like a three pocket. Ooh, that's what I should do. Yeah, we're gonna switch this over to a three pocket here.
There, that looks better. Yeah, that's it for this girl group binder. The rest of the stuff that we have today is for my second girl group binder. Here it is, and pff, Lord, I don't know that all of this is gonna fit in here. We're gonna make it work for today. Here are all of the photo cards that we have for this binder. This is crazy, oh my gosh. And then all the rest of the large inclusions are for this binder as well. Let's get started, you guys. So first, we're gonna start with Idol. Pretty sure I've only got stuff for Heat and then for their new album, which I don't think I set up for. Four. Great. Here are the idol cards we have today. The first one for Heat is I actually have her Target card. I think I want to put the Target one in the middle. Then we'll put the Digipack card here because they're all like the same concept. And then we'll put the other version down there. I think that just looks better all together. And yeah, I... <laughs> Oh my god. We're gonna put in two nine pockets for the photo cards. So we're gonna do a six pattern with the regular and the jewel case cards, and then we'll do the second page for the, the platform cards. Okay, had to get myself straight. For the normal version of the album, I only have this one. This is the O version, but I do have a trade for the one version on the way. And then the jewel case, I have this version two. And I have also the version one for this one in a trade as well. So we're actually gonna do a seven pattern. I just changed my mind because I did pull this one Target card. I'm pretty sure is what this is. Yeah, this is one of her Target cards. And this time, because they're always so difficult, I don't know that I'm gonna be getting all three. Uh, you know what? I might. Let's actually do the three normal cards. We'll do the three jewel case cards here and then the three Target cards down there and then we'll have a full page that's that's fine and now we'll go to the polka so they only did eight for the polka this time instead of nine so i think we'll do the qrs at the top which i only pulled this qr one we'll put this one first since it's the zero version and then there's two of this concept and then one with the fluffy hat and two with the sparkly hat so i think we'll do the those three hat ones at the bottom and then the two with this concept in the middle put this one here and um, I mistakenly, because I'm an idiot apparently, traded for that card twice. I'm so upset, <sighs> but it's fine. It's totally fine. Mistakes happen. We'll put this one in the middle because the two sparkly hats can go there. Sorry, this was literally such a mess. I will make labels for all of the cards later. I just didn't do it because I was lazy. So a little bit more for idle, large inclusions. For large inclusions, I do have this one um, mini poster and this transparent card. So there are three of each of these. All right, so we're gonna put in one of these three pockets instead. I, I These are gonna fit, so I think it would look better this way. This is the one version, so it will go in the middle. I think I like it sideways like this for now. I have everything listed up on my Instagram if anyone would like to trade let me know and then we have this one mini poster wow words you know what i think we're also going to do a three pocket for these and we'll just keep them folded so this is the zero version so we'll go first oh nice 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 yeah i like that so i just need the other two all right i think that's it for idle now we'll go of course nothing forgot the beat go to itsy we do have quite a lot for itsy as well mostly large inclusions for itsy okay let's go back to Born To Be. Oh wait, actually, this is perfect. We need to stop right here because, oh my gosh, finally the other version from Checkmate of this little like sticker set finally arrived my trade. It took so long, but it is finally here. Oh my gosh, do you, you don't even know how good that feels to finally have Checkmate finished. That, <laughs> that feels good. Now we can go to Born To Be. These are the three cards that we have for Born To Be. First, we have the last standard hoodie card. Amazing. And then we have her other limited version. There we go, so that page is finished. That is so cute. Hmm. Okay, so I also, I thought I'd put a place for this, but I did trade for her Barnes & Noble card. I think we're just gonna make this a seven pattern layout and we'll put the Barnes & Noble one in the middle since it's Polaroid style. Here we go. Okay, um, I still don't have any of these. I think I have one of these 
pending, I think it's the orange one to trade. I haven't marked it off on my template yet, but I'm pretty sure. And I have one of the untouchable special editions, so that's fun. So now for large inclusions. Okay, so we've got these large inclusions. We have one of her foldouts, this like mirror card. And then I did trade for her Target little sticker pack. I think what we're gonna do is we'll put Target up here and then we'll put this mirror card right down there. So these are a little bit bigger than I thought, but this is from the special edition. There's one per version. And thankfully I pulled one of Yuna's. So we're just gonna put these in a, mm, that sticks out a lot. I think it'll be fine for now. We'll put that there. The limited version has a, a poster that's larger that I am in the middle of trading. So that will go in this one pocket. So we've got these like postcards that just came in all the versions of the album. What we'll do is put these foldouts at the bottom of a three pocket and just put all these postcards all together. And then we'll put this horizontal postcard at the top. Sorry, this is such a mess, you guys. I did not expect it to be, I did not expect to have to do so much, but that's on me for not being prepared. I'm probably gonna edit out a bunch of the nonsense <laughs> for the video, so. All right, that is it for Itzy. So now let's go to La Seraphim. Go all the way to the back, because guess what? I didn't set up again. Here are all of the La Seraphim cards we have, mostly from the Weavers versions. We're gonna do three eight pockets. So I think we're gonna do a seven pattern layout for this first page for all of the Unche random cards. So we'll do the three normal versions, the Digipack, and then the three random like Weavers cards. So I think we'll do the two units here for the Weavers versions, which I do have one um, on the way in a trade. We'll do her selfie Weavers, which I also have coming in a trade. Then we'll do her Digipack in the middle. And then the other, the three normal cards here and I do have one of her normal cards on the way. Again, I will make fillers for everything, like labels I mean. So that's that page. And then on the second page we'll do, these are the two Target group cards and then we'll do her four solo Weavers cards. This one is my favorite, so I'm gonna put that one at the top. What's actually? This way, we'll put these two target cards there. Okay, and then this last page will be for all of the unit weavers cards. So there's eight. These are so cute. Yeah, I think we'll do it like that. Cute. And last, we'll put in a two pocket because we've got the, this is Unche's like, what do they call Like the compact version, her postcard, and then the three just normal album postcards. So we'll put these here, do this one. This one will go on the back of that. And this will go on the back of that. I do still have all of the other members postcards of the compact version, but I don't think I'm gonna keep them for right now. I'm still debating, but I do still have them. Okay, that is it for La Seraphim and then Enmix. I think this is the last group. Yes, awesome. Okay, so nothing for these, nothing. Oh, I do have her other answer version card on the way in a trade, so that's fun. Okay, All right, these are the four QGen cards that we have to put away today. We pretty much have everything except for the Target card. So first, the other square up version is this one here. So cute. This album's actually been pretty, pretty easy to collect, thankfully. And we have her poster version here. I do not have her Target card. I did pull Lily um, and it's still up on my Instagram. If anyone would like to trade for QGen, please message me. And then we have both of her Mixed Blood version. Amazing. Yes, please. If anyone has QGen's Target card and wants to trade for Lily, let me know. Um, 
So we're just mixing these postcards, really, at this point, and the, of course, the postcard from Intorf. I still have Suliyun. If anyone would like to trade, again, it's on my Instagram. And both of her postcards, I do have Ju for both, and I have an extra Suliyun for one of these versions, I don't remember. Let's just end on this new Kyujin page. Sorry this video, <laughs> I did not expect it to be this long, but yes, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.